Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, uh, in this video, we're talking, we're continuing with how to make a comic. And in this video, we're going to talk about coloring. And it's going to be very basic. So, I'm not going to go into, say, like flatting and shadowing and gradient and all that stuff. It's not going to be a color theory um, episode. Um, one, because co coloring is really not my strongest um, uh, part of art. Um, you know, naturally, I'm more of a penciler. That's my strongest medium. Um, but, you know, I could handle myself by coloring but I'm just not the uh, it's not my prowess as far as coloring is concerned uh, when I think of great colorists and and what they can achieve so but this is just a again all these um, how to make a comic videos uh, just basically for you beginning and to uh, just give you some insight. So um, I went ahead and I pretty much just uh, copy and paste. I mean the same uh, the same frame um, illustration frame, and because because again normally <coughs> excuse me normally um, one would have like several um, character studies. And you know what? I should do that. That way you guys can see what I am referring to. Um, let me see what file that, that I have that have several. Um, yeah, let's go here. I think this one. I really want to pick one too where I believe I had the. Okay, so this is just all the layouts. So I need to get into, um, hmm. Sorry, I should have I should have thought about this earlier. But let me go through. This is why I just want you guys to have a, a quick f reference of what I'm actually referring to. So here we go. Love summer. Because I have two files, files of the creation pro uh, process of each character. And I believe this is it. Yes, because that's all of... Hmm. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll just open up one and see. Because... Uh, uh, just to further explain. Okay, here we go. Bam. Um, so, okay, let's go right here. So, you can see, this is one of my characters from Love Summer. And this is one of the main... Uh, 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 I don't even want to... I guess I could say pr pr protagonist. But it's, it's one of the main characters. It's... Uh, this is five main characters, and so, um, so you can see here, I've already established a design, uh, a character design, uh, and I can actually, if I go, let me go back to, um, to even this. So this year was just all sketching. I had the, I pretty much was ready the design as far as like the hair um, hair model hairstyle and this is just me trying to capture different facial expressions some are okay some are not you know um, uh, uh, yeah and then here so this was and you can see how sometimes um, your, your design can can morph and evolve 
and and that's why it's good just to play with different colors to color of the hair hair color you know you're gonna go blonde red brunette or whatever shade you know it's gonna be black purple light pink whatever you know just um color of the outfit uh, that way you know you, you don't lock yourself in and as you can see here i think this was one of my initial designs and i was like ah oh, this looks more like college age um and wanted to do something slightly younger um, because again the premise of that love summer uh is based in a high school so i just thought that was this was a more um a mature looking face you know than a you know high school and again this is man i want to say five plus years ago you know every year um uh, kids are looking older and older you know people just look older nowadays so but this is um i wish there was a free to put a date but this is like i say five plus years ago so but anyway let's get out of that uh, so so i already got to the point that i'm like hey this is the look that i want that i've decided upon and then these are just different designs okay uh, of course the school that they're going to wear uniforms but i was just looking okay what type of clothing would this character wear and then you know you can play around with different styles and stuff like that um, and that's a female character um, designed um let me see and even with that i so this year is the male so, so so those two are two of the main characters and i think i initially focused mostly on those two um and even here so this was the school uniform and um you know just playing around with different colors uh, what would it be i believe i ended up sticking with this one to the far right um, I think I ended up sticking with the shirt color, but not the pant, not the pants color. Um, but even with that, um, so this was then same character design, but now just casual wear. What would that character most likely dress like? And, um, and you know, again, just changing it up, changing certain design elements and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I'm kind of going on a tangent when it comes to coloring, but I just thought I would add that in so that way, if you're creating from scratch, you can see how important it is to, um, you know, just copy and paste your, uh, one of your initial designs and, and, uh, play around with the colors, see what colors you think would be best suited for that person. Uh, you could also even think of, okay, what's that character's personality? You know, are they dark, gloomy? Will that be reflective in their clothing wear? Are they very bright and high-spirited? Will that impact their clothing wear? So all of that can then impact not just their clothing wear design, but also the color scheme to complement the character or the personality, you know? Um, and so that's, I said I didn't want to get too involved with the whole color schemes but that's that's really important so um so yeah so there you go just different um uh, color schemes that you can apply to your uh comic script so all right so we're going to we'll, we'll exit out of this uh, boom, boom, boom. there we go oh, so, so now we're back here so all that was to say that's why I basically just did a quick um, duplication of <laughs> uh, um, um, uh, cavity and uh, what did we decide on him Captain Floss <laughs> uh, so so that's so that's what I did there and just went with a couple of different designs as you can see with the two pace uh, the main character design color and you know costume type color designs and the same thing with cavity. Um, and so and I believe I'm going to go with this one here just because, well, you know, if it was plaque, <laughs> plaque attack, I, I guess this color would work well because, you know, yellowing, that yellowing orange or uh, dark yellow 
uh, build up uh, on our teeth, you know. Um, cavity, you know, it's more like a hole that's dark. And but but anyway, so I'm thinking I may just go with this for for cavity, um, or maybe this, maybe the purple, maybe the purple color scheme, um, and leave the yellow for uh, our next segment. Again, I'm going off the rails. So so you do that. So so I've done that. And so now, so now you have your frame, and, and this is what you want to do. I'm going to make it fairly um, flat, and by that, uh, I'm going to pick. And again, I'm doing this all digitally, and man, I must say the the moment I began drawing digitally or working in a digital uh, 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 manner especially coloring was such a it was such a weight of burden I just say burden but it was such a a relieving exp uh, experience because it just relieved all of the man okay I have to apply color to a piece of paper and I have to lay it at color you know what type of materials can I use um, that will be best suited? Um, so that that always um, weighed heavily on me because I'm like, oh, how much how much markers can I apply to this piece of paper? Paper quality too as well. And okay, is this the right? So working, being able to color digitally um, is is key. So. So I would say even if you've done your work traditionally, uh, if you do have like a tablet, a tablet that you can, and when I say a tablet, it doesn't have to be like this. Jeez, uh, um, uh, I forgot the name of this Wacom <laughs> tablet. I forgot the name of the tablet. My goodness, it can be you know any tablet where you draw on and you just look at your screen, whatever you know, budget um, um, digital uh, drawing device. But if you can do that, particularly for your coloring, of course, that would mean that you would need a scanner as well. So it all depends on what you want to do. I just feel like there's so much more uh, versatility with um, coloring. So here, I'm gonna, just going to block out the whole um, uh, uh, frame. And I'm just going to go with, the color is kind of bright. I'm just going to go here. So that's my background. I may change it up a little bit uh, so it's not too too bright. But see, this is what I'm talking about here. Uh, you know, I have the, the freedom to do that, and, and that's a matter of seconds, and it's not a permanent thing, you know. So um, I think way back in the even back in the day, they they colored um, digitally as well. Uh, I'm sure of it. Um, so, so yeah. So I'm gonna do that, and then come here, do the same thing. This is basically the uh, the same frame. Now these uh, panels were the exact same size. Um, you know, I could have easily just duplicated that square color and then patch it but since it's off centered and it's not the same size um, doing it di differently so that saves a lot of time and then I can come here too as well um, so I'm just really just blocking in the the color schemes so it may not even be the the main color uh, or the finished product I should say you know where you may add some gradient shading and stuff like that uh, to your finished point alright now to you guys you may not notice anything at all but I need to change my kids laundry so I'll be back momentarily and I'm back so all right so so here we go I blocked those out so basically up here 
sky background information that's the ground um, and and so now I can go into um, adding the colors so I'm thinking I'm gonna go with um, this design right here and uh, you know if it's Captain Floss or, or whatever uh, I'm thinking you know just a more uh, translucent uh, color scheme uh, would be best and so so here we go and I may speed up the video just to save time so if you don't hear my commentary um, um, that's why so here we go Right, I'm gonna come in for this um, part of it, and any reason behind that is I just want to um, go through some things. So, um, so I'm gonna select that color. That's basically the tear dropper or color a color selector. So I do that. And that way, that color automatically uh, goes on to my color selection. And, and now I'm gonna color with it. So uh, the reason why I want to cut in, I didn't want it to just have a long segment of just it being a speed um, video. Uh, this is what I like. I want to just commentate on why I like. I shouldn't even say why I like, but just why it's efficient to color um, digitally and the the many benefits. So here I can just color the outside edge. Um, isolate um, the fist and the mouth and if needed be the eyes but in this case I don't have to because they're all shaded in um, and then I hit the fill tool and bam you know so that just quickly saves time that way um, and so so you really can beat it um, uh, digitally and and then honestly just to say i mean i mean ultimately you're particularly you're going to do a print book um so you're gonna have cost color wise in any degree uh, but you could only imagine if you were doing it traditionally um the cost for i think some covers are done traditionally where you know that painted on or whatever and so um so yeah but just just another benefit of working uh digitally uh, so so yeah and so as you can see that's all done i can um uh, go back to here i just want to catch some of the edges um like that and so here you go, it's blocked out. Now, okay, so the dialogue, i um, gonna take that with another uh, layer. And let me zoom in on that. And there you go. Just color it in. Now some folks work on, and I know this is becoming like a, <laughs> a broken record, uh, as far as me doing another video, because Sometimes I think I can just squeeze in a whole lot in one video. Um, I know that I might be an economy of time, but it may just be an oversaturation of information. So that's why I say, ah, you know what? It'll probably be best to make another, to make a separate video for that. And so, so when you hear me say that, that's why. And and I try to make a mental note or a physical note um, to to adopt that idea. Uh, but making making separate layers just helps with managing what you're coloring. You know, you know. So you have have the background that's on a separate layer. 
uh, have the color that's on a separate layer and then any additional items you know those can be on a different layer if I want to change the colors with that as well and so um, let me not forget the bottle shoes so yeah so there you have it um, this is how you color uh, you can color your own comic you can just do base level and if you wanted to keep it this way where um, it's it's fairly um, fun fundamental as far as the layout um, just work your own style if you have a very more detailed style where you want to add highlights and and gradients uh, you can do that as well and my gradient um, I'll show you what I mean. Let me make a sample layer. I'll just call that um, gradient. Okay, so you do that. And let me show you how that works. So if I just wanted to select a certain portion, I do that. And then I go to my gradient. Um, uh, tool and then go like that and you see I apply a different gradient uh, I can pick a different color that way it will maximize the color scheme that I want I come in bam and that's how you you know and then come out of that and now you have a more dramatic background with some gradient and atmosphere you know but again that can be a different topic for a different thing because that's a more in detail in depth color scheme design but you just want to keep it basic background um, color scheme your character color scheme whatever objects and there you go now you have a full color comic script so thanks again for watching uh, tune in for uh, just different video uh, uh, videos on how to make a comic and just drawing in general so uh, if you've tuned in to this point thank you so much be sure to check out my uh, Facebook page facebook.com forward slash Michelo comics go to my website as well michelolully.com my Instagram at michelolully and to support um, what I do here uh, you can go to my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Michelle Lully. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you have a great afternoon, evening, night, morning. Grace and peace.